Hey everyone, Surreal Canine here. Welcome back for more to Sky 4, Promise Revisited. In the last episode, we got a measles epilogue, and in this episode, we are going to be doing something a little different by getting the final bad ending. Uh, for this ending, you need to have not beaten the stage boiling point yet, and have Valva Torres over level 500. Uh, as you can see, I've got that covered. Uh, I did have to go through Mount Ordeals to do that, but, uh... I mean, you know. <laughs> it's grinding, it's gonna happen at some point. <clears throat> so yeah, you're not gonna see me do Mount Ordeals totally blind, but, uh... At least it'll be up to the standards of the other games I've done. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Let's go! So, to get this bad ending, you need to solo Boiling Point with a level 500 plus Valva Torres. So, I am gonna do that. But first, story! Persistent, annoying, stubborn, irritating, bothersome bastards! Jeez, don't be so mean! You won't disappear! You won't die! I can't kill you! Whoa! He's really pissed now! Unforgivable! Unacceptable! I'll kill you! You're gonna die! Be gone! Th th this is ridiculous! We have to make him see our Tina as soon as possible! This is the malice? The core of Fear the Great? What intensity! I feel like I'm being crushed by the sheer weight of malice. Is he finally ready to settle this? Excellent! I accept the challenge! Uh, me too! I'm not gonna lose! Jesco won't either! Miss Artina's heart will reach Mr. Nemo! Yes! For Artina's sake, I won't let you destroy this world! I will stop you, no matter what! Shut up! Stop saying her name! Miss Artina wouldn't become an angel! I won't believe that! Please believe us! I'm right here! Right here in front of you! Shut up! Shut up! I can't hear you or see you! You're just one of the demons! He... he heard me! I won't approve of anyone! Demons! Angels! I won't... I won't forgive you! Die! Disappear! I'll destroy you! Shut up! I admit that we demons have neglected our responsibilities and brought confusion to the lives of many humans. I pay my respects to your dedication and devotion, even after your body has perished. That being said, Judge Nemo, I'm going to defeat you. To bring Hades to the worlds and restore them to how they're supposed to be. Finally, to keep the promise I made to protect the one I could not! Mr. Vampire... Ah, he totally said it! He declared to protect her! Go, Bowsy! A confession of his love! Desco doesn't know why, but her energy is a million times higher now! What is this? I'm kind of getting a tingling, too. No, it wasn't like that. Don't you dare misunderstand what I meant. I just want to get the promises I made, so it has nothing to do with Artina. I'm going to protect this. Oh, yes, that's right. Sardines! I can't let sardines die off with the rest of the world. I said I'm going to protect sardines. Hey, are you guys listening to me? No, not a single soul, my lord. It's all because of your careless comment. No idea what's going on now. Get ready, 
Judge Nemo. I'll make you see through your blinded eyes. Okay, so let's bring out Valvatorez and take a look his, at his status. Can uh, you can kind of see that I've uh, taught him the rest of his uh, sword techniques. Uh, Soaring non Upal is your standard end game ultra high power single target attack. Uh, Rune Dimension has a one x five area of effect. If you've played any of the other Disgaea games, this should seem pretty familiar. He's got the uh, Titan's Treasure equipped, which is the uh, I think the highest ranked sword you can buy. So with that being said, let's uh, let's finish the job. Let's restore order to the world. This is what it looks like. <clears throat> yeah, sure, you can hit me with a 2,000 damage attack, Mr. Nemo, but, uh... Not gonna do you very much good since I am five times your level. Here I come. And that takes care of that. Let's see what Lady Rubis has to say about this. Wake yourself up, Judge Nemo. I know you can see Artina. Can you hear me? No! Can you see me? No! I can't see anything! I don't believe you. Please, just believe in my words once more. Just like you did back when you were a ragged soldier. <gasps> Miss Artina, you're really... Yes, please open your heart to me. I'm right here. I... I can see... I can see you. You're really an angel now that's correct Artina became an angel after she died she watched over you and tried to guide you even though saving you was the reason she was killed even though she was called a thief in the netherworld she fought a lone battle to stop you from destroying the world that's absurd how could she yes I too did not believe it at first, but that is the truth. For 400 years she watched over you and wept, the helplessly pure angel. But that's Artina. <laughs> I'm a bit offended to hear that from you, Mr. Vampire, who refused to drink blood because of a promise he made to a lady. Ah, uh, so I just didn't notice. I didn't know Miss Artina was watching over me all this time. I've been such a fool. And I knew. I knew what I was doing wasn't gonna make her happy. But I... I just couldn't forgive the humans. Nor the demons. But now I see. She knows what I've been doing all this time. I'm the biggest fool here. 
And I've made Miss Artina sad once again. Nemo! Wait! Are you running away? He's gone. The malicious tension in this area is slowly starting to lighten. Then, did we defeat Fear the Great? That's what it looks like. By the way, it was my lord, Valvatores, not we. Yay! My dream of rocks! This dream is awesome! I saved the world! Now I just have to become the ruler of the world and fill this place with hot studs and tuxes, and it'll be a perfect happy ending! Desco is glad Big Sis is happy, but she's not so sure about having saved the world as a final boss. I did it, Father. Now the Netherworld will be saved. But is everything really over? It's really over. Please, don't worry, Miss Artina. Both Fear the Great and I will disappear now. Don't worry. What? Disappear? I'm so sorry, Miss Artina. I'm sorry. What is he trying to do? I think he's going to remove his soul along with Fear the Great. As long as Fear the Great's power keeps getting weaker, the possessed soul will return to Limbo as well. Not even to Hades, huh? To complete nothingness. To Limbo, for capital punishment, from where he will never reincarnate. He deserves it, I guess. What? Considering what he's done, I think he deserves to be tortured even more. Desco agrees with Big Sis. He shouldn't be allowed to just disappear. You want to save him, don't you? Huh? No, I didn't say that. You don't have to pretend. I can tell by the look on your face. How uh, to save him? That's ridiculous. If he is allowed to be saved, then what about all the lives that were lost because of him? Should we go back in time and save them too? He's a helpless fool. A fool who chose to perish because he couldn't bear his own weakness. And you say that you want to save him? Who do you think you are, almighty god? What you're trying to do is the epitome of hypocrisy. You know, you could be right. It might just be for my own satisfaction. I don't think he's right. Even if he can't save everybody else, it means a world of difference to that one person. What he's done is not something that can be forgiven. The weight of his sins is immeasurable. But that's exactly why I don't want him to be able to take the easy way out by simply disappearing. His sins may not be paid off for centuries. Perhaps it would take more than 400 years. But he must be made to face them. More than 400 years? You're pretty harsh, Artina. You know, that is the worst thing you could ever do to him. Fine. Let's give him the punishment he so rightly deserves. And what would that be? What do you think? Turn him into a prinny, of course. I'll re-educate him thoroughly as a prinny instructor. Lord, that is an excellent idea. Considering his sins, it will definitely take more than 400 years to pay them off. The soul of a dead villain pays off his sins as a prinny. Yeah. That makes perfect sense. Just like you, right? Hey, I'm not a villain, dead, or a frinny. I'm up for that idea, though. It's what you're supposed to do when you commit crimes in this world. Desco has no objections either. The problem is, how are we gonna save him? To save him, we must peel his soul away from Fear the Great before they perish together. Then let's go! To save his soul before fear the great perishes! 
and to guide him down the path he deserves most as a printing. Let's go. Miss Artina? Why? Please, leave quickly. Otherwise, you will be dragged down into limbo, along with Fear the Great. Are you serious? Then stop hiding and come on out already! That's right! If you don't, Miss Artina is gonna be in more danger! Time is running out. There's no time to argue. Just come out here. We're not leaving until we save your soul. Save me. Is that supposed to be a joke? No, we're serious. <sighs> Miss Artina, please leave me. I have committed something so terrible. It can't be undone. A sin which I will never be able to pay off. It's best that I just disappear now. Toughen up already! M Miss Artina! You might think this is how you'll pay for your sins, but honestly, that's not enough. You're just running away from your responsibilities. Disappear now? That's the cheapest and most cowardly way out! Miss Artina... You may be right. But how else am I supposed to do it? I'll tell you how. Become a Prinny and pay off your sins. A Prinny? You say that what you've done can't be undone. But there's no need to undo anything. Don't worry about anything else. Just work diligently as a Prinny. It could take hundreds or even thousands of years to purify your filthy soul. However, every sin is repaid. No matter how long it'll take, I'll make sure you pay it off. You will? Indeed, that's the duty of a Prinny instructor. I'll help you too, with super hardcore punishment, so you'll be able to pay off your sins faster. Me too. I've already come up with some tasks for you, like assassinating President Axel. Jessica wants to use you as a test subject for her new skills! I'll prepare something more... mentally burdening. <laughs> uh, everyone? Are you even trying to convince him to come back? Well, he has the right to know the brutal path that's waiting for him. Not that I would let him back out now, even if he refuses to come. Valvatoris, I've done so much to you, yet you still do this for my sake? You'll make sure I pay off my sins? Of course, because I am Valvatoris, the Prinny Instructor of Hades. Valvatoris, I... I... It's not Rubus at all. It's the it's the mushroom god from Phantom Brave. Who are you? I am a part of God. I am here to abolish the heretics who oppose my will, to purify Earth. God? God has concluded that you cannot be stopped merely with fear the great alone. Thus, he has dispatched me to confront you. So, is God mad at us? Your existence can no longer be ignored. I must remove you now. <laughs> God, huh? The perfect opponent for a final boss. 
Well, Dusko, that usually is how these Japanese RPGs end up, for some reason. What are you talking about? You won't stand a chance! Forget about me, quick! Just run! Or else you will be annihilated with me! Shut up! Do you think we'd flee in terror just like that? My lord is right. This is a good opportunity. If we defeat God, then my lord will have conquered the universe. Sure, why not? This is just a dream anyway. Oh, as an angel, I can't believe that I'm about to fight God. Maybe you should switch to being a fallen angel. That's a good point. Lady Flan was once a fallen angel too. It's no big deal, right? I think it's a bigger deal than you think, Artina. Miss Artina? Have you changed? So, you insist on disobeying God no matter what. Excellent. You must all perish now. All right, time to go fight a bunch of mushrooms. Everything about it is a mystery. <laughs> oh, level uh, level one thousand, huh? Everyone, let's go. Well, I hope we're able to handle this. I wasn't prepared for uh, for a bunch of level one thousand bosses. Let's see here. I am sorely under level and this might not work out. Cut that down a bit with a uh, with Stella here. Five thousand HP left. Me too. I got this. I got this. This is my best move. Yeah. Okay, we took out one of them. Time to see what the other ones do. Wow, Cyrus lives. That's pretty impressive, honestly. Whoops. Okay, let's get Cyrus on out of here. Uh, heal him up a little bit.
ready. Wait, what? Okay then. Do this. And you're still alive somehow. How? Oh, is it because I didn't lower his defense? That's probably it, actually. Oh. That is probably worth several uh, kills. Yep. That would do more than it did. Please brace yourself. Okay. Oop, there is Fenric. One more. Oh, there is Valvatore. Uh, okay. Everybody back in the base panel. Go, go, go. Not gonna lose. Here I go. 
I know you're coming it kind of close here, guys. That's a trick I like to call everybody gather around Desco to power her up. There. Final boss setting is flat out the best ability in this game. I am sorry, but it is there. true. And you missed. That's that's great, Fuka. But hey, we won. Ooh, check out all that stuff we got. Not bad. Do you see now, God? This is the power of demons, angels, and humans. Power that's much stronger than yours. The ties of our camaraderie. How could this be? How could they possess so much power? I must eliminate. When you get back home, make sure you tell God to come get us himself next time. If he is the real God. I, Balvatores, will not run or hide. I will take him on any time. Well, I think we all know how this is going to turn out. This man is extremely... Dangerous. They're gone. Are we in the clear now? Looks like we've made God even more upset. But I'm sure it'll be fine. Judge Nemo, now you have no reason to run. You will go to Hades and become a Prinny. Valvatores, you must have a lot of faith in Miss Artina. What are you? And you too, Miss Artina. You must have similar feelings towards him. Trust between a demon and a human. <laughs> I guess it's between a demon and an angel. It's something that's very hard to believe for someone who's only seen the ugliness of wars amongst humans. Just one more time, I'll put my faith in this world again. Miss Artina, I don't know how many years it'll take, but I will face my sins. And Valvatoris, I hope you'll guide me through it until my sins are paid off. Joe, you got it. I'll beat some sense into your head once you become a Prinny in Hades. Yeah, <laughs> I'll make sure to be ready for that. Rascal, this is a job for you now. M me? Who else? It's a death's duty to send souls to Hades. But, but, I I've never reaped a soul before. You can do it, Mr. Amizo. Yeah, just be confident, but don't cut off any weird parts. Amizo, please. Uh, uh, okay. I'll do it. Judge Nemo, your life ended a long time ago. As death, I will reap your soul. Thanks. In the name of Death Amizo. I hereby sunder thy soul from this life. Judge Nemo, I'll see you in Hades. Finally, the worlds were saved by the hands of the rebels from Hades, led by Tyrant Valvatores. 
Valvatoris, Fenric, Fuka Kazumitsuri, Imizel, Desco, Artina. The names of these six heroes who saved the worlds were engraved into history to be taught for generations to come. On a side note, when Imizel was appointed to the position of Netherworld President, the name of President Axel was completely removed from public records and was forever sealed away in the darkness of history. Credits look different. As time passed... Lord Val! Please, get a hold of yourself! Uh, I'm fine. How many more are there? About 7.2 million. Ah, still? This is never gonna end! There was a total of 8 million of them. This wasn't gonna be easy to begin with. <laughs> Our battle has just begun. There's no time to waste. But eight million is a bit much. Eight million is said in Shinto legends, I think, to be the number of gods there are. Honestly, even I'm starting to get tired of this. So apparently we are fighting all of them now. Eight million is ridiculous. Tyrant Valvatoris and his party were officially confirmed as heretics after defeating God's part. Earth, which was forsaken by God, shouldered its destiny of being burned to the ground along with the netherworld. The narrator sounds angry. The are a myriad of gods who possess mysterious supernatural powers, who crusaded against the heretics and battled them on a field of hopelessness. 
However, that's a story for another day. <laughs> so, today we learned the Japanese gods are sore losers. Since the dawn of welcome to uh, welcome to a new cycle. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. That ended poorly. I'll see you guys next time with the with the real last ending. Bye-bye.